Hello and welcome back. I'm Joseph Hoffman. Today we're going back to Piano Street to learn how to find two more keys on the piano. Welcome back to Piano Street. Do you remember where Grandma lives? That's right. She lives in a group of three black keys and her bedroom is this first one here. You probably remember how poor old grandma felt lonely and so she built a fish pond in her front yard. Well, that helped grandma's loneliness for a time, but soon grandma started to think, well, they look nice and all, but you can't really talk to a fish. I still need someone I can share a good joke with, have dinner with, you know, real companionship. Well, grandma realized that she had another open bedroom in her spacious three black key condo, so she invited Aunt Annie to come and live with her. Aunt Annie was delighted to accept the invitation, so this all worked out perfectly because the letter A happens to be the next letter in the musical alphabet right after G. All up and down Piano Street, wherever there is a G, the next note has to be A. So we have G, A, G, A, G, A, always filling up those two white keys inside the three black key house. So to find an A on the piano, simply look for three black keys and choose the bedroom on the right. Now press pause and practice finding all the A's on your piano. Say A out loud whenever you find one and play it too. When you're done, press play to go on. Now the story continues. Everything was going along fine in Grandma's house. That is, until Aunt Annie started to feel jealous. Grandma could tell something was wrong, so she asked. And Aunt Annie said, Why is it that you get a pet and I don't? Grandma replied, well, why didn't you just say so? Look, we have a backyard with plenty of room for a pet for you. Mind, I don't allow pets in the house, so it really must stay in the backyard. Well, Aunt Annie was delighted and went out that very day and bought a little pet bird, which she kept on the back porch right outside Grandma's house. So, to find a bee on the piano, Look for the three black keys that make Grandma's house and go out back, which is always on the right side or the higher side. So there'd be a B here. Can you find another place for a B? That's right, there's one way up here. Now press pause and practice finding all the Bs on your piano. Say B out loud whenever you find one and play it. When you're finished, press play to go on. By the way, in our last Piano Street lesson, you all gave me some great ideas for Grandma's pet in the front yard. Well, now, can you think of any other pets for Aunt Annie that start with the letter B? If you get any good ideas, you can leave a comment below. Well, it's official. Now you know every white key on Piano Street. So let's review. Do you remember where the dog house is? Point to any D on Piano Street. If you're pointing here, or here, or here, you're correct. Remember to find a D, you look for the two black keys which make the dog house. And any white key in between two black keys is always D. Now, can you point to any C on the piano? If you're pointing here, or here, or here, you're correct. Remember, C is for cat, which lives right to the left of the doghouse. Now, can you point to any E on the piano? If you're pointing here, or here, or here, you're correct. That's the elephant that broke out of the zoo to scare the mean dog back in his doghouse. Now, can you point to any G on Piano Street. G is for Grandma, who lives in this first bedroom 
of grandma's house. Now, can you point to any A on the piano? A is for Aunt Annie, who lives right next to Grandma in the bedroom on the right. Now, point to any F on the piano. If you're pointing here or here or here, you're correct. And what letter is missing now? If you said B, you're right. We've got this backyard outside of Grandma's house where Aunt Annie placed her pet bird or whatever other pet you can think of for the other ants. Now, whoa, look at this. We have the musical alphabet. Did you know that the white keys of the piano form the musical alphabet? If we start on A, it's just the same as the alphabet you already know. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then it starts over again. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and it could just keep on going forever. Here's a game called Stepping Up the Street, which I'd like you to try every day to review all the white keys. What you do is you close your eyes and then randomly drop on any white key. Now open your eyes. Ah, I landed on F. So what you have to do is name the note that you landed on. I can tell I'm on an F because of the three black keys. So I say F and then I have to step up Piano Street and name every note until I get to another F. So I'd go F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. I got to another F, so I win, and that's one point. We're going to try and get five points. So I close my eyes again, randomly drop on any note. Aha! I open my eyes, I see that I landed on A. It's Aunt Annie's bedroom, so I name all those notes. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. I made it back to A, so that's two points. I keep going until I get five points to win. Once you've mastered that, the next level gets harder. You close your eyes, drop on any note. I landed on E. Now I have to step down. Remember when you go down in music, you're going backwards through the musical alphabet. So now I'd go E, D, C, B, A, G, F, E. Now that's one point. And that's how to play Stepping Up the Street with levels one and level two. In the complete materials, which you can download from our website, you can even find out how to do a level three and a level four for stepping up the street. Today, you've learned how to find A and B on the piano, and you've reviewed the names of all the white keys. Nice work. I'd like you to keep practicing until you get so good at naming all the white keys that you know them just as well as you know the names of your best friends. If you practice naming them every day using a game like stepping up the street, you'll soon be a master at it. Later on, we'll learn how to name all the black keys too, so be sure to keep coming back. As always, you can use the materials available for download from our website for more practice. Thanks so much for watching today, and I'll see you next time. It's just my pet boa constrictor. My house, my rules. The boa has to go. Okay, Mr. Boa, you heard Granny. Only in the backyard with you. 